Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Hello. Hello, good evening, Mr. Francisco. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. Hello, good evening, Mr. Francisco. Are you going to practice? Well, participate today, Mr. Francisco? Or no? Hello, Miss Sandra. Hello, Miss Abigail. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. <gasps> Why, Miss? Happy you should be happy. Okay. It's Friday today. <laughs> Almost the weekend. Casi yes. el weekend. Good. Yes, teacher. Mañana uh, el concierto de Daddy Yankee. You, are you going, Miss? <laughs> are you going? Yes. <gasps> nice, me. Qué cool. Yo no me. Pero qué cool, Miss. That's great. Ya vi, Hello, Hello. Good, evening. good evening again, uh, teacher. How do you feel today? I'm good, Mister. <laughs> and you, Mister? And you? I, I am tired, teacher. I am tired because I am driving from the Union Port and not yet a uh, hunt. Oh uh, my god! On the on the road, yes. Oh it's my god! It's very close to uh, Wister downtown. <laughs> oh my goodness! Where are you right now? Ah, uh, in the Cerro Verde. You you live in Cerro Verde? No, 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 no. I live in Acajutla. Ah, oh, pestillo is super far. <laughs> Queda bien lejos de aún. It's like four yeah, hours. Yes, it's very far. <laughs> right, uh, right. Yes. Uh, so, I, are, are you oh, going I to participate? Uh -huh. I, uh, maybe when I stay, maybe I stay in the home, I will participate. Okay. And... I had a, I had a, some problem for the do the homework because no listen uh, to two class uh, ago and I had a problem because uh, it's a, I had a some grunt. But it, 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 Mister, the sentences yes? are with would like. Mm, you don't remember. A, I don't remember. I, I uh, when I okay. stand at home, I make one expression. And I will send by uh, WhatsApp. Okay, great. Yeah, that's okay, Mister. Hello, Miss All Lady. Right. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, Mister. Thank you. Appreciate it, teacher. Hello, no problem. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss Rebecca. Hello, Mister Jose Ezequiel. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, everybody? Hello, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, let me see. Okay, so maybe we are going to wait a few minutes. Okay, so I think we are going to start today's class. Hello, Miss Dania. Okay. Okay, so let's go and we are going with English for our program. This is basic module number four, right? And uh, uh, my name one more time is Lizette Rosemary Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Friday, November 4th, 2022. And today um, we are going to continue with unit number three, that is customer service, okay? So we are going to continue talking about some customers questions to confirm um, that they got what was promised in the ordering, okay? And also you are going to be able to create some questions with the simple past, yes, no questions. Today we are going to practice mostly that. Ahora vamos a practicar un poco más de el pasado simple, pero ahora vamos con or, uh, preguntas, okay? And because we already practice uh, affirmative and negatives, but today we are going to go with questions, okay? Uh, so to start, I have some questions, okay? So everybody's going to take turns and going to do some questions. Basically, I remember that all the questions, I'm sorry, all the questions it will be about the past, okay? Todas las preguntas pues van a ser acerca del pasado. So, um, here we have some of the questions, okay, that I'm going to do to you. 
And so, for example, let's start with Mr. Mauricio. What did you do in the morning, mister? For example, I took a shower and then I I ate breakfast. And you? What I, did... mm -hmm. I ate uh, breakfast. Okay, you ate breakfast. Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. And what about you, Miss Abigail Bonilla? What do you do in the morning? I uh, wake up. Wake uh wake up or woke up? Mm, I woke up at mm -hmm. five in half. <laughs> okay, five. After I go to work. Okay. And what else? Mm. Mm -hmm. Before I, how do you say entrar? Eh, when in? Mm, como antes de entrar a trabajar. Eh, when in, uh, before I started, started uh, work. Uh -huh. I, mm -hmm. no, before I start uh -huh. to work, uh -huh. I, Mm. Eight. Uh -huh. Oh, nice, Miss. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. What about you, Mr. Jose Siquier? What did you do after breakfast? After breakfast. Después del breakfast. What did you do? After. Mm -hmm. Um. I left my home because uh, mm -hmm. I had to go my my job. Oh, okay, very good. What about you, Miss Lady? What did you do before lunch? Before. I uh huh. And uh -huh. um, I. What? What do you want to say? Um, ah, heat. You heated the food? Uh -huh. I, yes. wait, I heated the food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, I heated that food. Uh huh. And what else? Yes. Just that. Okay. Sorry. What about. <laughs> no problem, Miss. <laughs> what about you, Miss Sandra? What did you do? I mean, I'm missing do. What did you do after work? What did you do after work? Uh huh. Like, for example, what did you do after work? For example, for me, I ate dinner. And you? Mm. What did you do after work? What did you do after work, Miss Rebecca? Because I don't know what happened to Miss Sandra. I... I moved to my home. Oh, okay. You moved to your homes. Uh huh. Anything else? Um, I prepared my the dinner. Oh, very good. Thank you, Miss. What about you, Mister Mauricio? What did you do after the English? class yesterday what did you do i uh, studied english oh you study english really war war and uh, homework oh, oh oh wow thank uh -huh. you mister very good 
What about the other ones? Let's see, me falta Mr. The, I think everybody practice. Or Miss, Miss Sandra, what happened? You didn't answer to me, Miss, I want to know. What did you do after the English class yesterday, Miss? Ayer después de la clase, what did you do? Miss Sandra? Like, what do you do after the class? ¿Qué tú haces después de la clase? Hmm, hmm. Tell me, tell me. Miss Sandra, where are you? I don't know what happened to Miss Sandra. What happened? Okay. Teacher, teacher. Hello. Uh, watching TV, my family. Ah, uh, you watch TV with your my family. family. Oh, yes. that's amazing. Thank you, Miss, for sharing what you do. Now, let's continue. And in this one, as you can see, we are going to play a little bit about this game in which you are going to choose a number and you're going to say the past tense of the verb. Vamos a ver si han repasado los verbos, okay? Because remember that I told you to review the verbs, okay? So, how are we going to do that? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer eso? We are going to play this game in which you are going to choose a number. Van a elegir un número, okay? And then you will have to say the past tense and also you're going to say a sentence, okay? So let's start with Miss Abigail. Tell me one number, Miss Abigail. Please. Mm, six. Six, okay. What's the verb for the past tense for right, Miss? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Somebody knows what is the past tense for right, everybody? Oh. Road. Yes, road. it's road. Road means it's road, okay? Or maybe like. In a horse, right? <laughs> Can you tell me one sentence, Miss Abigail, using road? Que es montar a caballo, montar una moto. Bicicleta. Una... Okay, can you say a sentence, please? I rode my bicycle last year. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you very much. Let's go next one. Help me, please, Miss Lady. What number, please? Two. Two, okay. What's the pass for do? Mm -hmm. Did. Yes, can you tell me one <laughs> sentence using did, please? I did my homework. Oh, perfect, thank you. Let's go, next one. Help me, please, Mr. Juan Jose, one number? Um, Ten. Ten, okay. What's the pass for drink? Drunk. Oh, can you tell me one sentence using drunk, please? I drank my last soda this morning. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Thank you. Let's see next one. Help me, please. Mr. Mauricio, what number? Uh, number four. Four, okay. What's the past tense for forget? <coughs> Forgot. Um, tell me one sentence you seem forgot, please. I forgot study last night. Oh my, <laughs> okay, Lisa, <laughs> no. thank you. Very good, let's see now, Miss Dania, what number means, please? Nine. Nine, okay. What's the past for wake up? Walk up. Yes. Tell me one sentence you saying walk up, please. I wake up early in the morning. Oh, very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's go now with uh, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. What number, Mister? Eleven, teacher. Eleven. Okay. Ooh, another one, Mister. Please. 
five. Five, okay. Okay, what's the pass for no? Uh, it's none. Mm -hmm. Ew. No. No, it's not. No. 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 It's new, sorry. Yes, it's new. Can you tell me one sentence using new, please? Um, <laughs> I, 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 Remember that this is like if you know something, como que si conoces algo, algo de, de que has leído o conoces a alguien, too. Okay, I knew. No se sé, ve raro. <laughs> Which one? I knew what? Um, I knew. Mm -hmm. I knew, I knew. Very okay. Okay. I, <laughs> I met you for a tell of you. Okay. Don't worry, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> you knew that Yankee where in the airport today? <laughs> We don't know. Maybe he's the, I no. I don't know if he came already. But okay, very good, Mister Jose. Jose again. Thank you. Let's see, Miss Sandra. What number, Miss Sandra? Miss Sandra is going to need one teacher. Number one. Let's see. A make. What's the part for make? May. Uh huh. May. May. Made. Uh -huh, it's made. Okay. Made. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me one sentence using made? I made. I made phone call. Ah. Um, it's do or made. Mm. Take. Uh -huh. The difference between do and made. El made es cuando hacemos algo desde cero. Y el do ah, okay. es algo que ya está hecho. Previamente, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, so, maybe you can say made a cake, made a made food, made... A pizza. Uh -huh. Made pizza, ok, something. Ok. Ok, so, can okay, you tell okay. me one sentence, please? One more time. I made... Um, I made it. pizza. You made pizza. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Miss Rebecca, do you already participate or no? Not yet. No, okay, tell me one number, please, Miss. Seven. Seven. Oh, I understand. What's the past? Mm, on the stand? Hmm, no, it's not. Mm. Understood. Yes, very good. Tell um, me one sentence using understood. I understood the homework. Yes, very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's see next one. Uh, who is missing? ¿Qué me falta? Miss Dilcia. Hello, Miss. Welcome. Hola, teacher. Hello. Okay. So, Miss, we are practicing the verbs in past. Okay. Estamos practicando los verbos en pasado. So, tell me one number. Dígame un número de los que aparecen acá, please. Mm, number three. Number three. Can you tell me what is the past for a com, please? Pass for com. <laughs> what is it? A ver. It's super simple. Está bien fácil, Miss. Or somebody that wants to help Miss. ¿Quién la quiere ayudar? Game. Game. Yes. Repeat, Miss. <laughs> Game. Que significa vino. Okay. Came. Can you tell me one mm. sentence using came, Miss, please? Vino de venir, ¿verdad? De, sí, de... Like, like, for example, I came to the class. Yo vine a la clase, okay? Uh -huh. So, something eh... like that. 
my father came in the morning. Ah, very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's see who else. Miss Abigail Mejia, are you oyente or in class? Porque ahí dice oyente, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, no, Miss Andrea, Andrea. Okay, no. So, okay, I think the other ones are as oyente, oyente, so that's okay, don't worry. I'm gonna pass attendance, okay, right now. Oyente, okay, no problem, Miss. I'm gonna pass attendance right now. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Remember that you have to say at least presente. Okay, so I think, well, uh, Daniel Lisbeth. Miss Dania, are you there? Okay. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Dilcia Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Francisco Ernesto. Eh, Jorge Antonio. José Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Present. Thank you. Okay. Let's see next one. Juan José. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Wait a second. Then Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you, Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie Michelle. She is. Can you send the word, Miss? At least, Miss. Podría enviar ahí la palabra, Miss, so we can see it. Well, I can see it that you are there. Well, let's continue. Thank you, everybody, for doing the attendance section. Gracias a todos por hacer la, la sección de asistencia conmigo. Remember that it's very important. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so now in today's activity, we are going to continue first of all with the manual. Vamos a continuar este con el manual. Give me one second. Okay, here. So to start, as you can see here, it says, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? What questions do you use when you are confirming something? Mm -hmm. What a question, like for example, do you like it? Or what else? I do. Yes, I do. Ah, but that's a question that you do to a customer, right? Esa es una pregunta que tú haces a, a un cliente para confirmar, sí. Sí, ¿cómo se llama? Sí. Um, Para confirmar información, ok, like que tú sabes, like for example, si les gusta algún producto, or maybe, or information, like for example, eh, what you, like the name, like the age, right, personal information, right, other questions to confirm information, otras preguntas para, que podemos hacer para confirmar información de los, de los customers, Mm -hmm.
What other questions can you do? Mr. Mauricio, Mr. Juan Jose, Mr. Jose. How do, how do you, how do you say? Do uh, mm -hmm. manejar? Drive? No. Uh, manage? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, Ajá. Manage. manage this device. Ah, uh, ok. Very good. ¿cómo, how, ¿cómo, ok, ¿cómo puedo manejar este aparato? Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you manage this device? Very good. Uh, this, this device, sorry. This device. Device, yes. Very good. Excellent. Any other ideas? Confirm information you know, ¿ok? ¿Cuáles son esas preguntas que pueden hacer? ¿Qué otra pregunta pueden hacer? So, any the other one? Do you, uh -huh. do you know? Do you know? Uh -huh. Give me asistencia técnica. No? Do you know who can give me? Uh, who can give me uh -huh. assist, assist, asistencia uh, técnica? IT. 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 Uh -huh. IT. Yeah. Or technical support. Uh, yeah. Technical support. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Technical support okay very good okay so there are some questions that we can do right to know if they everything is okay and right now and right here we are going to do some practice okay about that how are we going to do it by reading these two uh, experiences with two different companies Let's start with Mrs. Mendoza. Mrs. Mendoza there, as you can see, has an experience. Can you help me to read the experience, please? Miss Lady, Mrs. Mendoza. Can you help me to read? I have, I have a problem with the pyrrole system, mm -hmm. but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged. Charge? Charge me? Mm -hmm. He even char charged me for a piece he broke. Mm -hmm. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot the mention that they came very late. Exactly, thank you. And then we have Mr. Torres, uh, uh, like experience. Can you help me to read Mr. Torres experience, Mr. Juan Jose? Okay. Thank you. I had a problem with the cars, cars engine. Mm -hmm. So I called for assistance the mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem. Two, he gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, thank you, mister. Okay, so here we have two types of uh, experiences. Which one was good experience? Miss Mendoza, Mrs. Mendoza, or Mr. Torres? The good experience. Mr. Torres. Ah, oh, and who has a bad experience? Mr. Mendoza. Mrs. Mendoza, Mrs. right? Mrs. Mendoza. But how do you know that it was a bad experience? How do you know? Uh, me she uh -huh. how do you know it's a she, bad... ha she has a problem with a uh, pyro with the what by Py pyro system 
payroll. Payroll, payroll system. Payroll yeah. system. Ah, okay. So she had a problem and that's why she had a bad experience. Hmm, another it idea? Is, it is bad experience. Uh -huh. And any other ideas of what, why was a bad experience, everyone? First, because technician, he didn't, technician didn't say anything. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So did she, he didn't explain, right, what happened. No, ni, ni le explicó que era lo que sucedía. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Uh -huh. Any other bad experience? He gave mm -hmm. a copy of her report, but she didn't understand. Exactly. She didn't understand it, right? Very good. Anything else? He came mm -hmm. very late. Exactly. He came very late. That was the, the top of the cake, right? He was so late. Now here with Mr. Torres, how do you know it's a good experience with Mr. Torres? The mechanic was really kind. Uh-huh. Very good. The mechanic. He was very, very fast. Okay. He was very fast. Wait a second. He was there really. Oh, he se me va a marcar todo. No. Second. I don't know why he was. Then. Really fast. Anything else? Anything else to know that it was a good experience? How do you know it was a good experience? He was quick to fix the uh -huh. car problem. Exactly, right? He gave him details about the incident. Oh, okay. Details, right? That's good, right? Because we don't know, maybe. And we know with this. Anything else? He gave, mm -hmm. he gave me a report of it. Mm -hmm. And? Then I else? started. I started the engine, right? The engine. Everything was perfect. Very good. So that's how we identify, right? By saying sentences about experience. And as you can see, uh, they are using the simple past to explain the experience, right? Como pueden notar, pues están utilizando el pasado, ¿verdad? Para explicar sus experiencias. Good or bad experience. And here we have some questions that we are going to answer. Number one, it says, did Mr. M Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method payment? Do you think she had a problem? Yes or no? No. With the payment method? Payment method es como el método de pago. Y payroll eres, es la planilla. Payroll. Ok. Payroll. So, did she? Yes, she did. Ok. Yes, she did. Why? Because it says she, had a, she was having a problem with the payroll, with the payment, method of payment. And then number two, did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Call his best friend? Or who? No, he, he didn't. No, he didn't exactly. To who he called? ¿A quién llamó? Who did he Mechanic. call? Exactly. He called the maintenance, the assistant. Yeah. Okay, exactly. He called for assistant, he says here. The mechanic. The mechanic was really kind. Very good, and thank you. Now, here and right now, we are going to continue. As you can see, we already talked about the 
simple present, I mean, simple past affirmative and simple past negative. And now we are going with questions and with the questions with simple past, okay? We use uh, some words and we have two types too. Tenemos dos, dos tipos y también tenemos ciertas preguntas. So here we have number one and a little bit of a definition. It says that, wait a second. It says, as in the simple present to make questions use was or where, okay? We only have to write once or when at the beginning of the sentence or, and then we have to write the subject, okay? Like for example, here we have a sentence. Can you help me to read please, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jose Ezequiel? Read the question please there. Sorry. Can you read the question please? The question, yes, sure. the example, thank you. Were you at school yesterday? Uh -huh. Another one? Wait, sorry. The last one, mister? Was he with you this morning? Exactly. Now, how do you do it with this one? Aquí, como pueden ver, igual que el día de ayer, tenemos primero el verbo to be, was aware, then we have the subject, and then we have, it could be, remember, feelings, age, name, uh, occupations, nationalities, or places, right? Uh, like, for example, at school. Were you at school yesterday? And we can say in this case, yes, I was, or in negative, it could be, no, I wasn't, okay? En este caso, con el was y con el where, una vez más, no utilizamos otro verbo, sino que utilizamos ya sea un lugar, un nombre, una nacionalidad, un, eh, una ocupación, un, un lugar, vea, como por ejemplo aquí, at school. De ahí la tenemos la siguiente. Was he with you this morning? Estaba preguntando que si había alguien con él, ella o él. Uh, estaba él contigo, le dice, and you can say yes, I'm sorry, yes, he was, or no, no he, he was. yeah. wasn't, amazing, thank you, okay, and yes, so those are the two types of, um, these are, are the first one for the was and where, okay, estas son las preguntas para el was y el where, Y con el cual no vamos a utilizar, recuerden, otro verbo, sino que solo el was or where. Now, when do we use was? I mean, where? With what subjects do we use where? Can you remember? You? What else? We. We, uh huh. Where? They. They. And the other you, right? And was, we are going to use it with. I. I. Uh huh. It. He. 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 She. She and it, it exactly. So remember, after was you use a subject, um, and then we complete with the name, age, occupations, nationalities, and so on. Let me go and I don't know. Wait a second. If we have some more here. I think, yeah, we have some questions here that we are going to see. Can you help me to read uh, the first one, Miss Abigail Bonilla? The first one. Was I? Uh -huh. Were you? Yes. Was she? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Was he? Was she? Was mm -hmm. no sería where they? Yes, they. Uh, it's what I'm saying. Thank you, me. It's very good. Where they? Es que se ha repetido. Ya se fijó. I think that one is it. Give me one second. It, I think it's it with that one. Sí, porque me falta el it. Ahí creo que era el it there. Give me one second. Was it? Yeah, definitely. Wait a second. Ooh, what happened? Okay, now yeah. So it was it. 
Then we have the next one with where. Can you help me to read the next ones, please? Miss Dania, with where? Where we? Mm -hmm. Where you? Mm -hmm. Where they? Yes, thank you. And then you complete with something, right? Y después complementamos con algo, ¿verdad? Depende de qué queremos saber. I like, for example, give me one second, let me go to the whiteboard. Quiero ir a la, a la pizarra para que podamos hacer un poco de ejercicios. Okay, for example, we can say, was, was she, was she sick? How can we answer to this type of question? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, she. She. Was, she was or no? She wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Or she was not, right? Depending no. on, uh -huh, cualquiera de las dos. And what about if I have, was he, I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Were they, were they, nationally, Colombian. Were they Colombian? No, they wouldn't. Okay, you can say yes, they uh, were, or no, no they weren't. weren't. Exactly, very good. Thank you. Or were not, right? Depending on what you want to say. Questions, doubts, comments right now. Questions, questions so far, you guys. No, no question. No questions? The other ones? I do remember that I have a one practice, but let me see. Okay, give me one second. Remember that this one with was and uh, where is just for names. Recordemos, ¿verdad? Que esto sería con el ne con los nombres, con edades, nacionalidades, ocupaciones, cómo nos sentimos, ¿verdad? Eso es básicamente lo que se expresa, ¿ok? Give me one second. I want to do more practice, but I don't know if I can see it because I remember I had it before. Me one second, please. Okay, in here. Let's see if I can do it right now. And then we have with the simple past with did. Remember that did, we are going to use it with other verbs, okay? De ahí tengo las preguntas, que son las yes, no questions siempre, pero con el did. Ok, quien con el did se utiliza, pues ahí sí vamos a utilizar otros, otros verbos. Give me one second, I'm still going here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You're going to see some pictures, van a ver unas imágenes y quiero que crean unas preguntas, but give me one second. It's getting there, it's getting there. Wait. Today it's taking so long. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait. Because I want you to see some pictures, okay? Quiero que vean unas imágenes y, and you create some questions. Because remember that are very, very important. Right. Okay. Okay, with this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have it now. 
For this one, we are going to use everything, okay? Like positives and negatives. Vamos a utilizar las positivas y las negativas. So you practice, okay? Oh, this one too. Yes, click on. Okay, now I have it. Okay, like here I have some more. Igual, este sería el orden, like for questions, for yes, no questions. So for example, for the was, we have the was, and then we have the subject and the complement, right? Or for we, you, they, we use where. And then here, as you can see, we have some sentences. Can you help me with number one? What's the correct answer, Miss Sandra? Can you help me please? Number one that appears right there. Okay. Where I where? Can you read um, all the sentence, please? I wear. Is it correct? I was. Was. I'm sorry. I was. I. I wasn't or where, Miss? Because she was saying where. I wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't, okay? Let's see next one. Help me please, Miss Rebecca, number two. I was. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, Miss. Very good. Let's see next one. Can you help me, please, Miss Lady? Number three. What? Can you read the sentence, please, Miss? I was happy because my friend. Yeah. Uh -huh, because my friends you have two sentences there my friend were at school too at school too very good thank you miss excellent let's see mr juan jose next one and the last one they were happy too Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's see next one. Help me, please. Mr. Mauricio, next one. Number one. Tom was was in the playground last week. Okay, next one. Miss uh was you say or wasn't? Was okay, yeah. Okay, next one, Miss Abigail Bonilla. Miss Abigail Bonilla, are you there? Okay, let's see Miss Dania. Can you help me with next one, please? Please, please. She was with his dad. I'm sorry. He, he was wasn't was was yes. I heard wasn't means. No. I'm sorry. He was uh -huh, with her dad. He's that sorry. Thank you, Miss Miss Dinsia. Next one. Is Dilcia Yamilet? What do you think is next one? Number three. Well done, teacher. Uh -huh. No worries, me. I'm sorry? 
Guasm. Guasnob. Yes, very good. Next one, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Next one. Um, Tom wasn't on the slide. Mm -hmm. Wasn't. Yes, thank you, mister. Let's see, Mr. Juan Jose, next one. He was on the swim, swim. Yes, on the swing. Yes, right. That is the columpio, right? Thank you. Let's see next one. Okay, I have another one, but I think we're going to skip this one because I am looking for the questions, but I don't see them. I remember that I saw a question. Here, here we have questions. Okay, let's see next one. Uh, Miss Kenya, can you help me with number one, please? What's the answer? I was in the park yesterday. Yes, thank you, Miss. Let's see next one, Miss Rebecca. Really? Uh -huh. Was it good? Okay. Yes, thank you, Miss. Let's see, Miss Sandra, next one. Yes, it was was great. Thank you. Let's see next one. Uh, Mr. Mauricio. Uh, where there, your friend? Okay. Thank you. Very good, Miss Abigail Bonilla. You there now? Mm, yes. Okay. Not they. Mm, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then? Yeah. I. Mm, I was with my dog. My dog. No. Was. Was. Ah, I heard wasn't. <laughs> sorry. I heard wasn't with my dog. And I was like, okay. Because it was too negative. So no. Very good. And thank you. Now, question so far about that with the wasn't. Well, wasn't where for questions. Remember that it's used for like things about names, nationalities. Like for example, I can say, Mr. Mauricio, were you in Metro Centro yesterday? Give me the purpose. Were you in Metro Centro yesterday? Hmm. Mm. Were you in Metro Centro yesterday? Yes. Oh, I, I understand, Miss Abigail Bonilla. No problem. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, I, I was. Oh, okay. Very good. Let's see, Mr. Juan Jose. Were, was, was Sandra here in class yesterday? Yes, he was in class yesterday. Oh, okay, great, Miss Lady. Okay, Miss Abigail. Um, Miss Lady, hmm. where were we in class on Monday? Hmm. Were we in class on Monday? Yes, we were. Exactly, yes. very good. Exactly. Thank you, Miss. Okay, let's go now with simple past interrogative yes and no. And the rest of the verbs y el resto de los verbos, chicos. I'm sorry. We are going to use this word that is the helper or the auxiliary. Did. Ahora, con los resto de los verbos, okay, que no sea el was y el where, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar el verbo 
o el verbo be. Vamos a utilizar el dir, ¿verdad? And always they go at the beginning y siempre van al inicio. And remember that with did we use the main verb. Y recuerden que con el did pues vamos a utilizar el verbo eh, normal, vean nuestra pregunta. And here I have some examples. Help me to read, please. Let's see, Miss Dania, the question, please. Did he go to a school yesterday? Yes, very good. And I have, okay, I'm um, sorry. Very good. As you can see here, we have, we have did, okay. And then we have the subject and then we have the verb, okay? In este caso, como pueden ver, primero tenemos el did, después tenemos, que es nuestro ayudante, vea, del pasado. Después tenemos el sujeto y después tenemos un verbo. And here I have some more examples. Aquí tenemos un poco más de ejemplos. Wait a second. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Miss Dania. Uh, is is necessary use the the time yesterday? Oh, mm -hmm. the time is precious. Always. Uh -huh. No, Miss. No, Miss. It's not. But um, I I was telling and explaining you a little bit of, uh, yesterday and also on Tuesday that when uh, we are talking about the past, sometimes it's necessary to, with some verbs, with some verbs to use time expressions like last month, last year, okay? Last week. Last week with some verbs, okay, miss? Last week yesterday, last night, con algunos verbos, okay? It's necessary to use them. Not all the time, but to emphasize that you are talking about the past, use them, okay? To emphasize, these are time expressions in past. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You can use them, yeah. Here, help me to read, please. Mr. Jose Ezequiel, one more time. Interrogatives. Yes. Uh huh. Can you read them, please? Uh, yes. Okay. Did I run? Uh huh. Did you break? Yes. Did he stop? Yes. And? Did she buy? Excellent. Thank you. And the next ones, help me to read, please, Miss Kenya, the last one. Did it, did it drink? Mm -hmm. Did we wash? Mm -hmm. Did you study? Did they see? Yes. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Uh, as you can see there, we have, uh, well, the same that I was uh, saying, right? Uh, that it was did, then the subject, and then a verb. Como les decía, pues igual vea que era el did con el sujeto y nuestro verbo. Right. El verbo va normal porque ya tenemos nuestra palabrita que es el did que nos hace el verbo en pasado. Let's see now. What do we have here? And then, okay. Wait a second. Give me one second, please. Yes. Give me one second, please. Okay. So for the next one. And so we are going to try to create some questions, okay, with did and was and where. But wait, we are going to do our own examples. Just give me a second. Let me go to my whiteboard. So vamos a ir a mi whiteboard so I can create them. So what do we need first with the questions with did, uh, with the other verbs? What do we need first? ¿Qué es lo que necesitamos primero? Uh -huh. Did auxiliary. Exactly, did, and then after, what do we need? So, yes. so that's okay. Exactly, for example, did you, and then? The verb. A verb, like, can you give me one verb, please? Drink. Did you drink? Uh, for example, did you drink coffee? Yesterday morning, maybe. Do you drink coffee yesterday morning? And how do we answer to this type of question? 
Yes, I yes, or no, I didn't, right? Excellent, thank you. Or if we are talking about somebody else, it would be did they, for example, did they, did they, can you give me one verb, please? Hmm. Uh huh. Did they, can you give me one verb, please? Yes. Dance, okay. Did they dance last Saturday, for example? Did they dance last Saturday? It could be yes, they did, right? Or yeah. no, they didn't. Amazing, thank you. Okay, so questions so far. Questions, questions about this? No? no. What about the other ones? Hmm. <laughs> Give me one second. I just want to check on something. So let me check it out. She had a mistake in my class. <laughs> Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, we are going to do some practice. How are we going to do it? We are going to do questions using did, but in this case, we are going to do like a little cadenita and everybody's going to do one question to your classmates, okay? Like this, for example, um, Miss, let's see, Miss Kenya, did you eat in the morning? Did you eat in the morning today? Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Miss Kenya, can you do a question to Mr. Mauricio, please? Mauricio, did you work yesterday? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, let's go, Mr. Mauricio. Do a question to Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Mr. Jose. Mm -hmm. Did you dream a beer? No, I Last didn't. Night? <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, okay, let's see now. Mr. Jose Ezequiel, do a question to Mr. Juan Jose, please. Okay, Mr. Juan Jose, did you see the TV tonight? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, Mr. Juan Jose, do a question to me, Rebecca, please. Rebecca, did you drink coffee this morning? No, I didn't. Why? You must do it. <laughs> I have drunk. I have. I have drunk like three coffees today. <laughs> I miss Saturday. I miss Saturday so bad. Let's see, Miss Rebecca. Can you? Can you do a question to Miss Dania, please? <laughs> Three coffee or Dan four coffees today. Uh huh. Did you go to the beach last weekend? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Yes, okay. Miss Dania, can you do a question to Miss Lady, please? Lady, did you swim in the weekend? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's see, Miss Lady, do a question to Miss Sandra. Sandra, did you play soccer yesterday? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Okay. Let's see, Miss Sandra, do a question to Miss Dilcia. Miss Dilcia, did you dance last Friday? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, Miss Tilsia, do a question to Miss Abigail Mejia. Miss Abigail, did you eat pupusas 
in the night? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Okay, so everybody did a question very good so far. Questions. Remember that, for example, with did you do, like, for example, Miss Rebecca, did you do the platform last week? Did you do the platform, Miss Rebecca, last week? Mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. Okay, so you can use also do, right? Did you do? And that's possible, right? It doesn't matter if you are using do. Because yesterday, that's a question that you did. So yes, you can do it. Any doubts uh, so far? Or we are good? Question. I think we are good. It's clear as water. As water, water, not as water or of chata. OK, so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, okay, some sentences and I want you to write them as a question, okay? So here we have, these are the, the sentences and I want you to write them as a question. Quiero que les escriban como preguntas, okay? And for this, I'm gonna give you five minutes and then um, send me a picture, okay? Remember to create a question with this, the sentences that you have, questions, questions. And when you finish, send them on a picture or create them in a text message as you want. La pueden crear en un mensaje igual o las escriben en su cuaderno y las mandan en el grupo. Please, please. Two more minutes so you can create them, please. How was the earthquake yesterday in there, in San Salvador? ¿Cómo estuvo lo del sismo ayer? <laughs> Do you feel it? <laughs> no sé, si lo sintieron más fuerte que yo. <laughs> because here it was like a little bit, porque aquí fue un poquito, pero ahí me imagino que fue fuerte, ¿verdad? 
Was it was he strong? Yes, it was or no, it wasn't. <laughs> was bad mm. the the sismo or no? Was good. O no estuvo tan tan feo. No, I don't think so. Si estuvo bien. Very good, Miss Kenya. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Mauricio. What happened, Mr. Mauricio? What were you writing there? <laughs> okay, so the last one. Teeth the baby. Clap. Very good. En la última, en la last en la one. Última, sí. Ajá, did the baby clap, pero no vamos a agregar PED. Nothing. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Clap. Clap, yeah. Very good, Clap. Miss. Clap. C-L-A-P, just C-L-A-P, solo C-L-A-P. Yes, just that. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, thank you. Then Mr. Juan Jose, very good, thank you. Then Miss Sandra. Eh, el verbo queda normal, Miss Sandra, no vamos a agregarle nada. Ok, no cambia, el verbo queda igual. Acá, o sea, eran las oraciones, pero ustedes tenían que hacerlo en like question. Y recuerda que question, pues no cambia. Bueno, vamos a hacerlas acá, por acá, ok. Like for example, number one, as you can see there, we have um, number one, we were tired yesterday. It would be how would be uh -huh. we are you sure for we. question? Where no where we ah, where we okay, where we and then tired yesterday. Tired yesterday. Okay, very good. Number two, how will be the question? She broke her leg. Did she break her leg? Did she? Uh huh. Break. Uh huh. Break her leg. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Let's see. Number three. John run for an hour. So it would be. Did John did John run from for an hour? For an hour, yes, very good, thank you. Number four, he danced all night. It would be did he dance mm -hmm. all, all night all night long? Exactly, thank you. And last one, it would be. Did the baby? Uh -huh. Did the baby clap mm -hmm. his hands. hands? Exactly, clap, right? Aplaudio. Okay, so there you have those were the questions. 
Um, remember that when we have did, we don't need the verb in past. Recuerden cuando tenemos el did, pues no ocupamos el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? And so, and so we use it normally. Usamos el verbo en infinitivo, right? So here we have it. Okay. Any other questions so far? Questions, questions? Thank you, Miss DC. I did very good. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna continue then. If you don't have any more questions, give me one second. Vamos a continuar si no hay más preguntas. So we are going to practice then, okay? So first of all, we have some questions there, okay? And in here, help me please to read Miss, Miss Kenya, just no. Yes, no questions. Uh -huh. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did she pay extra money? Mm -hmm. Did we receive a report? Mm -hmm. Did they sign the letter? Thank you, Miss. And as you can see here, we have the different answers. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. But remember, we have two types of yes, no questions. Pero recuerden que tenemos dos tipos de yes, no question, que es con el was, el where, y el did, vea, el did con otro verbo. Here it doesn't appear, but it's very important that you know it, okay? Aquí tal vez no aparece, pero es muy importante que ustedes lo conozcan porque existe, okay? It's very possible that you could use it, okay? Muy, es muy probable que ustedes lo pueden utilizar, okay? About things that happen, right? So, so you can use it uh, like in another way, maybe. Here we have another one. It says that we have to create questions. So we are going to do it. Number one, what is the question for uh, number one over there? It says, yes, I did. I sent the email. What do you think is the question? Did you did send you the send? email? Uh -huh. Did you send the email? Very good. Number two. What do you think it would be the question? Did they check, uh -huh. check the package? The package, yes. Package. package, did they check the package? Number three, what would the question? They return the car on the game. The car, okay. Turn on. Okay. Did the okay. car turn off again? Aha, uh -huh. very good. Number four. Did we never? Did we never? Okay. Recite a copy of Re the receipt. Receive a copy. A copy of the receipt. Okay, very good. And then next one, number five, what will be the question for number five? Wait a second. Number five, it would be... Did he buy a new tie? Did he buy a new tire? And yes, he did. Amazing, thank you. Okay, so very good so far. Amazing, amazing. Now, what are we going to do? Here it says, create a conversation number. No, but first of all, we are going to practice just for us, okay? What are you going to do? I want you to create three questions for your classmates, okay? First of all, we are going to only use was, I mean, it's, it would be were you and did you, okay? Like this, give me one second. Wait a second. So we are going to use, to create, sorry, three questions. Like for example, were you, were you, for example, a student last year? I want you to use where, and I want you to use did as well. Two, did you, 
Did you buy a tree? A Christmas tree? Christmas tree? And three, maybe it could be, did you, uh, do you have, do you have, sorry, do you have dinner? Okay, I want you to create three questions for your classmate, three questions for your classmate, because after I'm gonna put you in teams so we can answer these type of questions. But please try to use where as well. Ok, quiero que utilicen el where y, y usen también el did. O puede ser al revés, vea, dos de where y una de did. Can you try to do it, please, right now? Uh, for this, I'm going to give you four minutes. Please, four minutes. Ready or not ready? Two more minutes, okay? Can you raise your hand if you finish, please? Levanten ahí la manito, like the, the stick, no the sticker, the emoji. The emoji, raise hand. Para saber quién terminado, please. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. No, pero no answers. No lo van a responder las preguntas. Ah, yes, sorry. porque la van a, sus compañeros la van a responder. Ok, <laughs> yes. Where they sing, 
were they in the karaoke, Miss Abigail Mejia? Did you visit the beach? Did you check the La primera sería, were they in the karaoke? Mejor, were they in the karaoke? O oh, were, oh, were you, porque recuerde que es para sus compañeros, entonces tenía que ser, were you in the karaoke? Ok. Thank you. Were you sick? La demás, were you, were you sick, mi Rebeca? Very good, Miss Kenya. Amazing. Thank you. Very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Thank you. I'm missing Dania. Eh, Jose Ezequiel. Eh, lady. And, 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 and Miss Sandra. Uh -huh. Were you in the karaoke? In the karaoke. Thank you, Miss. Did you read the book? Very good, Miss Lady. Thank you. Very good, very good. Were you in the karaoke, Miss? Porque ahí le falta el sujeto. Were you in the karaoke? Thank you, Miss Dania. Very good, Miss Dani. Okay, now what I'm going to do, que vamos a hacer, le voy a, lo voy a poner en parejas, okay, y van a responder las, esas, esas preguntitas, okay. Where are you? Yes, now yes, Miss Abigail Mejia, thank you. Very good job because you don't give up. That's amazing. Thank you, Miss, for doing it. Okay, give me one second because I know some of you are as a oyente, so. Okay. Okay, so we are good. Some of you remember that are as a oyente, so just listen, okay? So I'm gonna give you for this. Five minutes, okay, so you can answer all of the questions, okay? So let's go and work. Write the answers, okay, please. Thank you, let's work. Usando el, el where o el did okay. y luego las íbamos a responder entre nosotros. Ok. Ok, entonces si gustas Abigail, te empiezo haciendo las preguntas. Ok. Ok. Were you at home the last weekend? Repeat, please. Were you at home the last weekend? I know. 
I don't understand. Were you at mm -hmm. home the last weekend? Yes. Okay. Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. Thank yes, you. I was. Okay. Second question. Did you play soccer on vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Last question. Did your friends come to lunch last Sunday? ¿Cuál es la otra? Did you go to the park last weekend? Yes, I yes I did. Did you eat pupusa last weekend? Yes, I did, of course. Es pecado no hacer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Drink Coca-Cola. Esos tres son los que había hecho. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Okay. Teacher, y vamos a contestar las preguntas que nosotros habíamos hecho. Sí, no. o sea, le sí, va a hacer, sí, le va a hacer las preguntas a, por ejemplo, a Miss Dilcia, porque ahorita Miss Andrea está de oyente, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, le va a hacer las preguntas a Miss Dilcia y la respuesta que le dé, las escribe. Ok. Ok, okay. okay. thank you. Bye, Joseph. Did you go Guatemala? No, no hay no hay diren, eh, pero... Sí. Were you class yesterday? Mm. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Pero ahí Word. sería, yes, I was. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, thank you, miss. <laughs> yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> ya terminamos, teacher, pero seguimos preguntándonos entre nosotros. Amazing, thank you, excellent. Very yes. good. Um, Ezequiel, did you eat? Yes, I, I don't like to drink coffee. Oh, I prefer I coffee. natural drinks. And, tea. sorry? Only tea, tea. I don't understand. Te? Ah, tea. no. Solo te es. No, no, orange juice, eh, lemonade, eh, Something like that. Do you drink uh, soda? Yes, oh. but sometimes, sometimes. Okay. In a special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Every moment is good to drink <laughs> soda, but <laughs> it's bad. Okay. Is it wrong? Uh, no. Uh, did you try a car? Yes, I did. Um, did you read a book? No. Last, last week? No, I, I did. I didn't. And did you like to see Netflix? Yes. I, yes, I did. Oh. No, I did. You didn't. What about you, Francisco? Did you eat pizza the last week? 
Pizza, pizza. Pizza. Ah, pizza, pizza. Yes, I didn't. I eat pizza in the uh, Union Port. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. it's a little Caesar, little Caesar. Okay. <laughs> I, there's one that is more delicious than little Caesars in La Unión. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I travel to La Unión like very often. I well, I travel around here very often. And really? in La Unión, yes, yes, I do. And I go to Sulutan, and I go to La Unión, and I go to Morazan. I love to travel. So in La wow. Unión, yes. <laughs> when I, and, and also to Occidente, I go to Ataco, I go, but <laughs> yes, okay. I always try to do tours. But when I, yes, you should, yes, do it. you should do it. <laughs> I, 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 I will travel again uh, Union Port is uh, oh, really? December, yeah, December, December 7th, 17th because uh, one vessel is coming here for the discharging operation LP, LPH gas for the Tropigas, Tropigas. Oh, so you're going to Tropigas. I know where Tropigas is. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it, because where I go, I go to Chiquirín. Do you know Chiquirín? It's near Tropigas. Really? Is the, uh, because, is the little tip? I, is the little tip um, of El Salvador? Uh, really? Uh, tropical, <laughs> from the other because, side. Yeah. Because the, the tropical uh, tropical terminal. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I stay in the hotel. It's a uh, comfort. For in, it, yes. yes. <laughs> I, I, I stay there. I stay there in comfort. It's this next. It's next to the tropicals, basically. Ah, uh -huh, next right. to the tropicals, yes. You go down and there's yes. tropicals there. All, all, all is very close. It's very close because the uh, course I import is very close. You should go to La Unión. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes I, 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 this vessel 20 days is coming here at La uh, Unión Port. That's great, yeah. mister. So you're uh, going anyway. to, and it's mm -hmm. also, what is the other place over there? Calpo? Calvo, Calvo, yes. Calvo is a tuna, yes. A tuna, yes. Calvo. Yeah, it's very good. I love, I love La Unión. I know I am not from La Unión. I am from here, from Samuel, but I love La Unión because it has many things. Yes, it's well, I love El Salvador. It's very good. So, yeah, it's, it's very good. It's, uh, nice. it's very good place for the El Salvador. It's, it's very, true. It's yeah. true. Very many places. Nice. Okay, so you should try the Pizza from La Unión, no? Yes, Little Caesars. Little Caesars, <laughs> yes. Caesar no. is in, the, in the corner, in the corner. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's yes. true. It's very, very close to, to the, yes. there. Nice. Okay. We are going to come back, okay? Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's continue. Let's wait a little bit for the other ones. Okay, before we continue, until they continue, we are going to do some attendance section, okay? So please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Presente. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Daniel Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Tizia Jamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Esmeralda del Carmen. Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Jorge Antonio. Jose Ezequiel. Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Jose Ezequiel, are you there? Hello, mister. Pero se estaba practicando con la Miss. Sí, estaba con mi. Hello. Hello, mi José Ezequiel. Sí, estaba tomando agua, dígame. Uh, pre uh, presente, I'm passing attendance. Can you <laughs> yeah. say presente? Ok, thank you. Uh, Juan José. Presente. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. 
Thank you, Sandra Abigail. Sandra Patricia. And Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Present. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, Stephanie Michel. Okay, great. So thank you, Miss Michel. I just see that you say present teacher. What you wrote. Okay, so I was listening to your to your activities and the questions that you were doing. I want to listen some questions from you. Quiero escuchar esas preguntitas. Well, at least one question per each group, okay? Una pregunta y las respuestas que obtuvieron. So let's see. The first team is going to be Dania and Kenya. Tell me, Miss Dania, one question and the answer. Please tell me, tell me. Miss Dania? I cannot hear you, Miss. I asked you with Kenya. Uh -huh. Were you the best in the in your class? Uh-huh. And the answer? And the answer, I try. I you, you she tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was yes, I did or no, I didn't. <laughs> Miss Kenya. I say that is a difficult question, but for me, it's, yes, I did, but reality, I can say I am trying to do it. Say yes, please. Don't say that. Just say yes, I did. <laughs> you're good. You're good. So you have to believe it. Remember. Okay. So it would be yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, amazing. Thank you, Miss. Let's go now, Miss Kenya. Tell me one question and one answer, please. I asked uh -huh. to, Tanya? to Diana, did you finish your homework? And she said, uh, yes, I did. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go next team. The next team, it would be Jose Ezequiel and Lady. Jose Ezequiel, can you tell me one question that you did to Miss Lady? Yes, Miss. Thank you. Um, I said to her, mm -hmm. did you buy a new car? Mm -hmm. And did you visit your mom last weekend? Okay. But what was the answer? <laughs> oh. Yeah. What was the answer? She said, she said, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's, Miss Lady, tell me the one question and one answer from Mr. Jose Ezequiel, please. Okay. Um, one question. Did you read the book? Okay. And the answer? answer? Yes, I did. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. Two questions. Uh -huh. Did you see the movie Titanic yesterday? Uh -huh. Answer? No, I didn't. Okay. And three questions. Yeah. Do you sleep in the hotel? Mm -hmm. Answer, yes, I did. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's go now with Mr. Juan Jose and Mr. Francisco. Um, I remember that Miss Abigail was with you, right? But I don't know. Yes. Miss, uh, Miss, I, Miss Abigail went out. So you two together then. Mr. Juan Jose, tell me one question and the answers. Okay. Did your friends come to lunch last Saturday? Uh huh. And answer, uh, she told me. He told me, no, they didn't. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry for you. That's no, that's okay. And then, can you tell me one question, Mr. Francisco? Do you agree? Yes, uh, okay. Mr. Mr. Juan is uh, asking me. Mm -hmm. Is uh, did you eat the pizza the last weekend? Okay. Yes, I did. Oh. I did the, uh, <laughs> Uh, I forget. <laughs> I, I pizza in the Porta Union. Union okay. for pizza for the Little Caesar. Little Caesar, yes. Little Caesar, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Let's see now, Mr. Mauricio and Miss Rebecca. Okay. So, Mr. Mauricio, can you tell me one question and the answer, please? Um, the question and answer. Yes, the question that you did to Miss Rebecca, right? Okay. And the answer que Miss Rebecca le dio. Okay. Okay. Uh, were you bad yesterday? Okay. Uh, tell me, Rebecca, 
Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Okay, very good. Uh, did you go San Salvador yesterday? Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, did you go? Did you have uh, some money? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see now, Miss Rebecca, tell me one question and the answer, please. Very negative. <laughs> she she had to say yes I had right I have money right I have money okay okay <laughs> the first mm -hmm. were you sick last month mm -hmm. no he wasn't okay uh, next uh -huh. one did more you did you go to the park last weekend yeah he say yes he did. Oh, okay. Did hey. you eat? Mm -hmm. Did you eat pupusa last weekend? Uh -huh. He said yes. He did. Exactly. It's un pecado, like you say. If he, he didn't yes. eat pupusas in the weekend, it, you must eat pupusas in the weekend. It's a must here in El Salvador, right? Let's go now, Miss Dilcia and Miss Sandra. Did you finish with the questions, girls? Right. Well, one question at least. Yes, one, one question, please, Miss Sandra. Okay. <clears throat> were they at the club yesterday? Uh huh. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Did you go Guatemala? Okay. No, I didn't. Uh huh. Did you read the book? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Okay. Very were, good. Uh -huh. Were Sorry. you class yesterday? Uh huh. Yes, I was. Uh huh. Very good. Let's see now, Miss Dilcia. Can you tell me, please, the questions? Okay. Mm -hmm. Will you go to the beach on the weekend? Uh huh. No, I didn't. Yes. And did you eat pupusas last night? Uh huh. Esa no la noté, pero le voy a decir que yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just create an answer. Uh huh. In the última, did you drink Coca Cola? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Thank you for doing it, Miss. Thank you, everybody, for doing the practice. Very, very good. I think it's very clear this topic. It's like very simple, right? Or do you have any question? I have a question. Oh, yes, <clears throat> tell me. Y cuando uno respo re mm -hmm. da una respuesta de mm -hmm. yes, I did or yes, I didn't. Uh huh. ¿Podemos extendernos en la respuesta? Yes, you can, definitely, because you can say, no, I didn't. I, for example, you were, I heard the question, una, una de las preguntas que le hizo Miss, Miss eh, era que, ¿Qué? did you eat pupusas last night? No, last weekend, right? Last weekend. Did, sí. uh, did you eat pupusas last weekend? Maybe you can say, yes, I did. I ate pupusas last Sunday. Ok, ahí podría haber ah, como reafirmado ajá. el día, ok, y que y la oración va a ir, obviamente, si es en, uh, like, si dices que no, obviamente vas a decir lo correcto, right? I yeah. don't know if you understand. And so it would be, I ate pupusas on Sunday, ok. Uh -huh. Or I yes. ate pupusas on Saturday, uh -huh. Just, okay. you can say a sentence, like okay. confirming, okay? Puedes decir una, eh, una oración confirmando. Okay. Okay. But, but it would be like uh, optional, right? Es opcional. Ah. Lo más común es solo yes, I did, no, I didn't. Yes, she did, no, she didn't. But if you want to extend more, si quieres extenderte más, pues dices las oraciones, okay? Okay. Thank Very you. Good. No problem. Okay, so any other questions or no questions? So if you don't have any more questions, we are going to do one last practice. One second. And here, it's a worksheet, okay? We are going to do this worksheet. As you can see here, we have, uh, it says simple pass, the just no questions, short answers, 
because on Monday we are going to study long answers, information questions. So here we have some examples. Now, what's the correct order for this one? Can you tell me what's the correct order for number one, please? Did it. Okay. Did it. Okay, did it. Uh -huh. Right. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Okay. So, what do you think is the answer? Okay. Yes. yes it, 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 it. Okay. What about number two? What's the question? Did did hmm? the plane the plane the plane all right all right all right at at Okay, and the answer, wait, we have these answers. No, it didn't. Oh, no, it, no, it, it didn't. It did. The last. Yeah, very yeah. good. Let's see next one, number three. Mm -hmm. Did. Did Jenny. Did. Mm-hmm. Jenny. Mm-hmm. Say. Say. Goodbye. Goodbye, to, Goodbye her to her friend. Yes, very good. And the answer is? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Number four. Did. Did. Uh -huh. Did. The children. Children. The children. Children. Uh -huh. yes. study. Study. Sorry. Did wait, sorry. Did the children study? For the test. For the test. For the test. For the test. What's the answer? Yes, they did. They did. Number five. Mm -hmm. Did we? Did we? Mm -hmm. Did we try, take, take a train, the train, the at train. seven o'clock? Did we take the train seven o'clock? The answer could be? Yes, we did. Yes, we did, okay. Did. Number six. Did Mr. Smith? Uh -huh. How? Uh -huh. Mr. Miss have a good time. A good time at the party. A good time at the party. The answer? Yes, yes he, did. he did. Yes, he did. Number seven, what's the question? Did you, did you visit? Visit. Okay. Your, did you? Your grandma. Your grandma last, week. last weekend. Your grandma. Last weekend. Okay. And the answer could be? Yes. He. Yes. No, no, he didn't. didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't, the okay. First, the first one. The first. Porque dice para ti. Pues, pues, Did tú. you visit your grandma last week? No, you didn't. No, they didn't or no, he didn't. Hmm, this one is like a little bit of complex. Did you visit your grandma last weekend? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah. Why he didn't? Because. Es como que me estén, estén haciendo preguntas si él, pero. Mm, pero you. dice, did you? Ajá. Y está diciendo, no, a... él. Exactly. Sí. Do you be, I think this one is incorrect because it has to be, no, I didn't, but it mm -hmm. doesn't say I didn't. I think it's it's with you. 
Tendría que ser, no, I didn't, but it doesn't appear the answer, right? So I, I'm going to leave it with you. No, you didn't. Pero recuerden que la re, mm -hmm. like, correct answer is the I, right? I didn't. Number eight would be the correct order for this question. Did, Did Jones cat, uh, Jones cat eat all its food? All its food. And the answer? Yes, it did. Number nine. Did I? I. Mm -hmm. Win. Win. Did I win? Uh huh. The championship, the championship to the Jerry's Circle. And the answer? No, I didn't. Okay. And the last one, number 10, because that is the last one. Did the family. The family. Okay, did the family enjoy, enjoy the, movie. Uh -huh. the movie? The movie. And the answer could be? Yes. They did. Yes, they did. Okay, let's see the answers. How much? How many points we got? Okay, yes, very good. Okay, so you see, we had a ten. Then, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> no, but this one, like for example, the one with you. This one is. Did you visit your grandma last weekend? Aquí en realidad la respuesta era. No, I didn't, right? Porque está entre dos personas. Uh -huh. Y la otra es esta. Did I win the championship two years ago? Yes. I mean, no, I didn't. It says, pero tendría que ser, no, you didn't. Porque es el opuesto, ¿verdad? And this one is perfect. Okay. So, yes. Very good, though, because we are ready. In, uh, like, this is very clear as water, right? <laughs> So questions so far, questions, doubts so far. I wanted to leave these two minutes because I wanted to ask you about the platform. Quería dejar estos dos minutos porque quería preguntarles acerca de la plataforma. What is happening? I heard that you had some problems. Ayer este, varios me escribieron porque tenían algunas dudas por ahí. Porque ustedes me dicen que están claros como el agua, but it, it isn't. It wasn't. Tell me right now if you have any questions. Díganme si tienen alguna duda o pregunta. Tell me, tell me right now is the time about the platform. Así que la plataforma. Recuerden que para el día lunes it's eh, section number three. Ok, para el día lunes terminaríamos la section number three. Questions. Right now is the time. Ahorita sería el momento for the questions. Tell me, tell me. Yo la otra semana le voy a hacer una consulta acerca de las condicionales, porque... Oh, ok. Ahorita quiero oír la explicación suya. Yeah, ok. No problem, mister. No, pero que no terminaríamos la unidad 3 el martes, porque tenemos dos días corridos. Mm, no. La del miércoles. Y la oh, del viernes. Oh, yes, yes, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Sorry, uh, so it would be for... Tuesday, it's true, it's true. Thank you, Miss. Sí, es cierto. Ahorita acabo de ver. So, yes, we are missing two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on Tuesday, para el martes, pues terminaríamos la section number three. Pero si tienen alguna duda, let me know. Oh. Well, next week, it's very, very important. But, mister, eh, if you want, you can send me the questions about the conditional. Si quieren, me pueden enviar la pregunta acerca de los conditional porque es el antepenúltimo tema y que vamos a ver el, el hasta la siguiente lunes. Vamos a ver ese tema. Vale, ok, se lo voy a mandar porque yes. solo es a todos. No me pegan de ahí para terminar. ¿verdad? Ok, great. So, yeah, you can okay. send that to me. Ok. Sí, porque, uh, yeah, for that time, you have already finished with the platform. Para ese tiempo ya tendrían que haberlo terminado. So, yeah. Okay. Any other questions? 
Uh, teacher, I had problem in the homework 12 and the, in the homework number... 12 six. section, section three? Uh, that's the section, let me see, yes. Section uh, three and homework 12. Okay, yes, in the homework number 12, section three, it's about the past, right? Es acerca del pasado, ¿verdad, mister? Yes. Ajá, y vi, yo los vi que están escribiendo didn't found, didn't, y parece didn't find. El verbo va normal, solo lo único que va a cambiar es el didn't. Eso es lo único. Uh, sí, sí, en esa clase creo que yo me salí, pero oh. ahí por eso es que no, no, no. Me entiendo. Voy, voy a mandar una captura al grupo. Sure, mister, please, uh, please. Please uh, send that to me because... Creo. Aquí al grupo de WhatsApp lo enviaré y ahí. Yeah. Ok. Ok, perfect. Sí, porque yo creo que es el mismo que ese ya. Wait. ¿Quién más lo está mandando? Ah, usted lo. Ah, sí, yo lo mandé, yo lo mandé. <risa> este, sí, lo same. Eso se lo mandé a Mr. Se lo vamos a mandar a. A Mr. A Mr. José Ezequiel. Yes. Le mandé las respuestas a ustedes, esas mismas vamos a mandar ahí en el grupo. Sí, pero me faltó una, teacher. Which one, mister? Uh, last one. De esa okay. misma. Okay, we give me one second then, so I can get, go inside of the platform. Entonces ya le puedes mandar las respuestas de esa misma, de la 12, para que las vean. Pero sí, eso se los había explicado, que con el didn't, pues utilizamos el... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? El verbo normal, ¿ok? Ok. Wait okay. A Pero me están utilizando los verbos en pasado, aparte con el dire. Sí, sí, esa clase creo que yo no, no pude estar, entonces estoy un poco confundido. <risa> Wait, sí. Don't worry, mister, I know. Uh, but if you can, Mister, you can uh, watch the video on. Ah, okay, okay, okay. On YouTube, yeah, Mister. Or okay. I can send you a video two way. Ah, okay, okay. También si le falta el punto, no se la va a poner bueno. Like, like, ah, uh, no, pero en este caso, Miss. The first. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Mm. Ajá, number one is the step period, mister. Bueno, igual acá le voy a mandar ahorita las respuestas. Give me one second. Okay. Eh, sí, la number one is with the period. Sí, todo eso lo toma en cuenta, mister. So, okay. yeah, be careful. Then also, por ejemplo, la number four también estaba bien. La number five también está bien. Pero lo que sucede, me imagino que faltó el punto. Number three también está bien. Y la I, tiene que ir en mayúscula. Y la number two, que es I didn't find 10 dólares, ¿ok? Ah, oh, ok, 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 ok. Ok. Y, y quiero ver una en, cuál, en qué sección estamos. Estamos en la tres. Y la, la última tarea que tenemos que entregar, ¿cuál sería? El, el section number three is for Tuesday. La sección número tres sería para el día martes, para que le pueda trabajar, ¿ok? Si sí okay. puede ir adelantando, porque lo que nos faltan solo son las preguntas del past. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. okay. Sí, porque me, uh, the last one, the fixing, <laughs> is a remaining. <laughs> ok, don't worry, Mr. Dutton. Okay, okay, so we are going Thank to you, say teacher. Thank you. no problem. If you have any questions, you can text me as well. Si tienen alguna duda, también me pueden escribir en WhatsApp. No tengan pena. I am here to help you. Estoy para ayudarles, así es que ahí me escriben, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna duda durante el fin de semana mientras estoy trabajando, then I will help you, ¿ok? Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend and good night and sweet dreams. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye bye. bye teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good weekend. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, mister. Bye.